<laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, I left it open. I left it open. Oh man, that was dumb, that was dumb. All right, we'll be back after a short intermission. I gotta get some paper towels. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ventures of Spackman. Today, we're looking at an under $30 backpacking tent. Stick around, let's see if it's worth $30. So far, it looks pretty cool, but let's water test it. All right, so what we have here is an Ozark Trail one-person backpacking tent. This comes in at $27 at Walmart or walmart.com. It's a one-person backpacking tent that is seven feet long, four feet wide, and three feet tall. It's meant for one person, and yeah, it's got enough space for about one person. Maybe their gear too. As you can see on the picture, they have some gear on the outside because it's kind of small, but I mean, four feet wide, that should give you enough room for your gear. Setup of this tent was pretty easy. You first start out by staking out all four corners. Then it comes with two color coordinated poles, a gray one and a red one. The gray pole goes in the front and the red pole goes in the back. Once you get the poles in place, it has clips on the main tent body that clips right onto the poles. The rain fly goes on rather easily. It has hooks that hook onto the bottom of the tent body. In the front here, there's another stakeout spot where the door flap of the tent fly hooks up to and the main body of the fly, or the main body of the tent hooks up to that guy out spot. There's another one on the, comp on the back side of this tent same setup just like this stake out the body and then hook the fly to it now if you're anything like me you're cheap right so i've been using ozark trail tents my whole life they're really hit or miss they can keep water out or they can let water in like crazy i don't know how well this one's gonna do but we're gonna set up the spackman water torture test here shortly and find out together the craftsmanship on these tents are not bad. I mean, I've looked at it, there's no loose threads anywhere. The sew job's good. I guess when you produce so many tents per year, I mean, so many, Ozark Trail puts out so many tents every year and they sell them cheap. So you know a lot of people are buying them because people are cheap, just like me. The rain fly is seam taped. The door is seam taped. Here's, here's the seam for the the window on the door, even this is seam taped. Let's see right there, that's the seam for this window right here. So we'll see if that leaks. The water's gonna be coming this way, so I, I'm, we might miss the door, but we'll find out. All right, let's go inside and check this out. On either end, there are mesh gear pockets right here and down here. This whole thing is mesh. It has about a foot of fabric coming up to the mesh. It should be pretty good with condensation. But I had, oh, there goes my phone. You guys back up. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to drop you, but I apologize. So the whole thing is mesh. So we'll find out, well, I'm not gonna find out how it does in condensation. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments down below. But today is the Spackman water torture test. So, so far, the tent looks good, I gotta say, but looks could be deceiving. They've deceived us before. So let's get that water hooked up and see if this is waterproof. Now the website, walmart.com does not say anything about being waterproof, but the box does claim that it's water resistant. It also says, Oh, I just saw this carbon monoxide gas will kill you. Protect your children. Sorry, I got distracted. What was I saying? I don't know. Let's get the water going and see if this is waterproof. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, so here is my time gauge. This is actually the clock from our kitchen. When I took it off the wall this morning, I, I dropped it, trying to be quiet, not to wake anybody up. And it's actually got a glass front and it shattered all over the kitchen floor. <laughs> glass are one of those things I hate in the house because it always ends up breaking. 
whether it's me or the kids, somebody's breaking glass. <laughs> Anyways, you guys know the drill. I'm gonna set up the water torture test for an hour. I'm gonna check in at the 30 minute mark. If there's anything to relay to you guys, I will let you know at that point. If not, I'll see you back here in an hour. So let's get this water going. Let's check the coverage. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I left it open. I left it open. Oh man, that was dumb, that was dumb. We'll be back after a short intermission. I gotta get some paper towels. Well, at least I know water's gonna be hitting the door. <laughs> all right, it's all dried up. I didn't notice this. There's literally just a puddle sitting up here. There was a puddle sitting up here as well on this side, but that's not good. Puddles on your tent definitely stay there and c cause leakage after a while. This fabric isn't waterproof, it's water resistant, so that will eventually start to leak through. All right, we are blasting it. All right, we're getting the door, so we'll test that. We'll test that seam there. I am getting soaked, but look, that puddle is just getting bigger. It's just adding to it. I highly doubt that's gonna keep water out. Highly doubt it. It is a little after 9.15. Time lapse starts now. All right guys, so it's been a little over a half hour. Let me, let me show you this. There is a lake on top of this thing. I guarantee it's leaking right there on that seam. And there's really no way to prevent that. There's no tie-offs. There's no making the, the tent fly tighter. I peeked in the corner and I did see a puddle. At the 30 minute mark. So let's go in and check it out. Now one bad thing about this tent already is you can't get inside if it's raining without getting the inside wet. Like it's sheer wall right here and water's gonna get in here. So I'm gonna try my best to get in here without getting the inside wetter than it already is. I'm gonna try, this is gonna be really hard. I, I'm soaked already just from standing here for five seconds. You know what, let's get you guys off the tripod first. Oh man, okay. Oh yeah, it was definitely leaking on this seam. Look at the water on this net. And that's where most of this puddle came from. Some of that puddle just came in with me, but most of that came from up here. And I called that, I mean look at it, it's already a pool already. Also water coming in right here on this corner. I think. Yeah, it's behind there. It's coming in here. Oh, puddle over here too. Both corners. Oh wow, look at this. This is kind of cool, you can see right out there. That's kind of nice. I think, uh, I think I've seen enough to wrap up this video, give you my final thoughts on this tent. Look at this puddle. Look at that. I can touch it. <laughs> and Literally, there is no way to make that tighter. No way. That's just poor design right there. Wicked poor design. <laughs> All right, let's get this water off and tell you my final thoughts on this tent. It's $30 tent. Oh God, that was wet and cold. All right, final thoughts on the $30 Ozark Trail one person backpacking tent. 
if you're expecting rain, don't use this tent. <laughs> I mean, I, the second I turned the water on, I knew this was gonna pool up and just be an issue, and that was the biggest issue. Along with that, I would say all of the corners of the, of the bathtub floor are gonna leak on you. I found that to be a problem with a lot of Ozark Trail tents. Those corners, they just don't seal them properly. For a $30 tent, if you're interested in backpacking and you want to see if you're interested in it, this might be a good option for you. Do not take it out if there's going to be any sort of rain. Even on the package, it says if there's severe weather to take down your tent because it's not waterproof. I don't know how it would do against wind. I don't know, maybe good, maybe not. But if it's raining, you're going to get wet. Now, if we're just interested in car camping and you just want to go to a campsite and camp for the night or for the weekend on a nice weekend, a nice weather weekend, this might be a good option for you. It's got plenty of ventilation. It was easy to set up and it's under $30. It's 27 bucks, guys, $27 tent, but it's definitely not rated for water. So don't think that you're going to stay dry in a rainstorm in this tent. That's about it, guys. So if you like this sort of thing, think about hitting that subscribe button. I'll leave it right here in the middle. Let me know what you guys think about this tent in the comments down below. Would you guys buy it? Would you guys trust it in the rain? I definitely wouldn't. Maybe after sealing it a little better, but I mean, it just pulls up water on the top. Like even, even with a little bit of mist, it's gonna end up making a, a lake on top of this tent. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for joining me on this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. $30 backpacking tent from Walmart. Booyah. <laughs>